Peter Thiel was born on October 11, 1967, in Frankfurt AM, Maine, West Germany, to Klaus and Susan Thiel. Both his parents were Germans. However, one year after the birth of Peter, the family migrated to the United States. The Thiel family settled momentarily in Cleveland, where Peter's father worked as a chemical engineer and as a miner. Two years later, Peter had a younger sibling, a son named Patrick. Growing up was very stressful for Peter. Because of his father's mining job, the family often moved from place to place, so Peter did not have the luxury of having permanent childhood friends and neighbors. Peter's education was greatly affected by his family's frequent traveling. He attended seven different elementary schools in different countries, including the USA, South Africa, and Namibia. His family finally settled in California and was enrolled in Bowditch Middle School. He was such a brilliant child at school despite his family's numerous travels. He excelled in mathematics and scored first in a California-wide mathematics competition. Because his family hadn't given him the privilege of staying at a place and bonding with the locals, Peter found it hard to make friends. He spent most of his free time reading several books, particularly science fiction novels. Peter had a dream. He wanted to lead a better life than the one his parents led. He wanted stability and financial security. This prompted him to work harder at school, believing that a good educational foundation was a stepping stone to financial liberation. He was the best graduating student at the end of his high school and was the valedictorian of his class. Peter gained admission into Stanford University where he studied philosophy. And while at school, he never stopped having the dream of having a more stable life than the one his parents afforded him. The thoughts remained with him as he completed his first degree and went on to study law at Stanford Law School. After graduating from law school, he did many jobs which he never deemed satisfactory. None of the jobs provided him the kind of stability he craved. He took a bold step and quit his job as a speechwriter. Then he returned to California where he took some time out to reflect on his life and career prospects. With the advent of the internet, Peter saw an opportunity to invest in a web-based calendar project. He sourced funds from his friends and family and soon raised $100,000 for the project. Things took a different turn when the project hit the rocks and all the money went down the drain. This was a huge source of frustration for him. However, shortly after this setback, Fortune smiled at him when he started another venture called Confinity. This new web-based investment paved the way for another invention of his called PayPal. Today, PayPal is a global phenomenon that has opened doors for Peter. His current net worth, as estimated by Forbes magazine, is $2.2 billion. There's no gain saying the fact that the quality of life we live is determined by the decisions we take. No one can make headway if they do not take proactive actions. The journey towards success begins with a bold step. Oprah Winfrey said, Tune out the naysayers, tune in your own courage and take a bold step towards the passion-filled life you really want. We must be ready to step out of our comfort zone if we hope to succeed in life. One bold decision is all it takes to turn a person's fortune around. Obviously, there will be naysayers, there will be circumstances that serve as discouragement. But when making career decisions, we should focus more on the many reasons why it will work than the reasons why it won't. Nuranjita Kuma said, One bold step leads to another. When we take that one decision to start something meaningful, it will open our eyes to many other ways to go about achieving our dreams. Mark Zuckerberg said, The biggest risk is not taking any risk. Peter Thiel would have been unsuccessful and unknown today if he hadn't taken that bold decision many years ago to quit his job and follow his dreams.